Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your host, Nicholas Sterniolo. Matt. Oh, oh my God. God. I always and for- it's Chris. There we go. Woo! There we go. All right. What an intro you made. Yep. Have All right. Good intro for today. Today's topic. Feeling good. Today's topic is shark attacks. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I think I could chug this in three seconds. One. Two. Ready? Set. Go. Wait, one. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. nine. What was that? Tea? Iced tea? <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Wipe, wipe your wet lips, please. Thank you. <laughs> Do you feel Who proud? am I attacking? Huh? Oh, I get it. Team Sharks. We, we didn't even oh, make that reference. Oh, my goodness. I was a, Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Matt. We're doing an episode on shark attacks, and you were Team Sharks for tour. How does Correct. that make you feel? Um, Violent. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, pause. <laughs> pause. Wait, so hold on. Why'd you pick... Let's just discuss this. Why'd you pick the shark again? I already said this. Yeah, because it wasn't your favorite animal, right? It's not. You were gatekeeping it. Yeah. So what made the shark be like the... Did you feel like... Is it you your wanted, second Did favorite? you want like a menacing animal to try to like be fierce? To psych us out? It's honestly like a really deep story. Okay. I don't... Well, yeah, I'm I'm ready. Okay. I don't care. But I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Sharks are blue. Oh, oh. And you were team blue. Yep. Wow. Yeah, but you could have gone with like the blue tree frog. Why would I do that? <laughs> or you could have gone with the blue macaw. It's in the yeah. name. Oh my god, that would have been sick. That would have been like, cool. It could have been Matt's like blue macaws. That could have been so cool. So what made you I could have went with the what's the macaw what's sounds the, like one of those like fake What's the other bird? So what's the other bird? What's the other bird? Huh? What's the other blue bird? jay? Blue jay could have gone blue with the blue jay. jays. So what made you just go with the shark? It just was that like the first blue animal that came to mind? Correct. And what the, about a the, dolphin? Well, the ocean's blue too, if you really think about it. Okay, so it was like a double entendre. Yeah, but if yeah. you picked like, like blue clownfishes, you would have been like, what? Like there are. You could have been like Dory. I mean? What is Dory? So you can't use like the ocean as an example. Yeah. Um, I don't know, dude. It's just like, it's not this deep. At yeah, all. just like yeah, I, know, I just wanted to get to the bottom of it. That's all. That's fine. There's nothing to get to the bottom. Wait, so wait, you were bats. We're pretty right? much already yeah. at the surface. I like that we kind of picked like of small, medium, large for our animals, like bats. Years and then sharks. sharks. Yeah, that's good. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what the fuck we just talked about, we did a tour last year, and we are different. Oh, I hate last year <laughs> being yeah, like, like eight what? days like ago, nine days ago. But it's okay. Go ahead. It was last year. Um, and Nick was bats. Chris was deer. My team was they sharks. Probably so. figured, maybe. Yeah, they probably figured, but uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, for the new yeah. viewers, for yeah. the people that, or have maybe no the people idea. that just watched the pod. Okay, well, let's get right into today. Today's episode of Shark Attacks. Nick, lead us in. Can you stop doing that? I'm tapping. I don't. Today like we it. are navigating the fascinating waters of sharks from debunking common myths. Ooh. And giving you tips for shark encounters and all things in between. Oh my I God. hope I'm that excited for the tips because no, we're no, no. Be able to see I just like, really well, how do you how do you escape a fucking shark attacking? I'm really not excited for the tips because I never want to use them. I have a question. It's always good to know. I have a question. All right. I have a question. Do you know how to get out of kick uh, out of quicksand? You don't move. Kick. Your legs. Yeah, you lean forward like an backward. L. Or back? No, is it back? It's back. Why you would wanna, you want to make like an L, you want to make like an L shape? No, it's your back bends out like this, and you kick your feet. I think it's forward. It's sh- I think it's, it's forward. Definitely back. I think it's forward. Okay, we can Google this. I don't care. I'm never gonna get stuck in quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> never, never say never. never. I'm never, never gonna get stuck. In, what if I pranked quicksand? you one day and put quicksand in your bedroom, and then the second you stood up, your bed was like spiraling down into you'd, the you'd, 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 you'd <laughs> fall into the quicksand. No, if I you wouldn't. Put it there. Yeah, you would. Nope. How'd you get? How would you get it there without? You I can't really you. transport quicksand. Like the whole idea is that it's like in the ground. Like I mean, man-made is quicksand or no? Cannot man-make quicksand. I think. Bummer. I feel. I feel Bummer. that. I don't know. But I feel like that's not a thing. I'm yeah. never gonna get caught in quicksand, no matter what. All right, well let's get to let's get to this. Let's go. Yeah, I was trying. Yeah, we were all trying. Um, <sighs> I had a question. Okay. If a shark is attacking you, do you like want to try to escape, or are you just giving up? I'm giving up. 
<laughs> That's why I'm asking. Because it's like same with like a zombie apocalypse. Same with like if an alligator was attacking me. Like there's a lot of scenarios where it's like fight or flight kind of situation. I'm giving up. Okay. I'm like a not, zombie apocalypse, I'm giving up. I'll give him know? one hard swift kick to the snout. And if that doesn't do anything... Yeah, you can't do more than that. I'm not yeah. the type of guy to go down without a fight. All right. <laughs> See, I am. See, I'm going to battle no matter what it is. If all odds were against me, I would prevail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Moving on. Um, first question. Are you afraid of sharks and swimming in the ocean? Okay. I'm more afraid of crabs getting my toes. Dude, <laughs> that's a big Valid fear. concern. You know fear. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I like, hate crabs. Yeah. Me too. I hate sharp shells as well. Oh, sharp like, shell. like barnacles. Yeah, or just I hate, I would hate barnacles. to slice my foot in the water because of like something ooh, in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, love the word barnacle. Who's with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Barnacle. I'm not. I'm with you. Barnacle. I hate that word. <laughs> oh, barnacles. Who says that? It's SpongeBob. It's like Obviously. instead of oh fuck. It's like oh barnacles. Like it's like slang. Somebody said that in real life. <laughs> it's probably day. Nathan. Oh, it was. It yeah, was. Nathan. Nathan's such an oh barnacles. Okay, type of guy. yeah, that, that's true. Just the word barnacles is sick. Like I love that. Yeah, word. that's a good yeah. word. That's a good word. But no, um, what's the question? Are you afraid of sharks or swimming in the ocean? See, I'm not afraid of sharks if I'm just taking a swim in the ocean. I don't like swimming in the ocean regarding well, actually, sharks. One time, me, Matt, and Nick woke up and drove quite some time to go to a sunrise. On the yep. beach. Mm -hmm. And we actually experienced tons of wildlife right on the edge of the water. The seals. Like seals and like dolphins and stuff. Like literally in the water. Mm -hmm. So it just freaks me out how close such a large animal could be to shore. You know what I mean? Yep. You never know like how close an animal could be. Yeah. What about what didn't just recently in California, there was a whale that washed up on the water at one of the no. beaches. Yeah. Right down that way. You're lying. I swear to God. Have you guys seen the thing about Have a you whale? Seen that, Nick? A uh, okay. whale washed up on shore with a bite out of it, and whales are the largest animal. So it's like, who did that? I've had. Well, I that. did see that. But okay, sus. You ready? It is sus. I'm not scared to swim in the ocean. I'm just probably not ever really gonna be in the place to be swimming in the ocean. It's mm -hmm. not really my thing. But shadows and pools. What? Like Sh shadows? Like like dark shadows? Like the, like deep, the end? deep end of pool? Horrified. I'll, I'll do it. it. I'll do it. And like, I, it's not like I'm like invisible fear, but like I'm thinking about it. I couldn't it. swim outside in the dark alone. That's insane. Oh, no, yeah. No. Or like with the pool light off. Well, that has nothing, to do, with okay, the, yeah, that has sure. nothing to do with the water. I'm just If the pool light goes like, out, I get out of the pool. Yeah. You didn't. You just didn't say that, though. If it's what he said. If the pool light goes out, I get out of you the pool. You just said that you could swim in the dark. Did no, you did not. Didn't. What no, did he did didn't. not. Oh. Oh, he's at a loss for words. <laughs> I remember one time when I was younger, I was I watched this like show about like mermaids and like if they were real or not. And I was so scared that a mermaid was gonna like get me in the pool. I agree. Like in the light, like that's where they live. Like that's what I think. I had the exact same thoughts. Yeah. This is so crazy. We yeah. watched the same show, but mm -hmm. yeah. I would just think the snake coming out of like the tub when I put the tub on when I was oh, in never think that. that. Never. Always never think that. Isn't Always. it crazy that a rat could crawl Shut up! into your toilet? I don't. And just sit in your toilet? No, it couldn't. <sighs> Definitely could. There's water. Yes, but rats live in the sewage system. Guess that's where why, your shit guys, goes. Key, that's, why, that's why I usually flush before I use the bathroom, too, because then it just sends anything. That's actually time. bad because flushing creates air in the thing because it's emptying out. So if anything, a rat has like a little maneuver way up to you while it's flushing. He's kind of This isn't wrong. a thing. Because you're clearing it out with water. Yes, I this am. This isn't a thing. If you flush, it's clearing out all the water. I need to know the odds of people who have fucking wildlife climb out of their toilet bowl higher than you'd wish. No way. Definitely. Definitely, Definitely high. Oh. I mean, one's higher than one I One time wish. I was washing it my happened hands. I actually saw this video much. on my phone. 10 seconds on the clock. How many things can you name that are always growing? your relationships, your skills, your customer base. How about your business on Shopify? When we started selling merch, Shopify made everything so easy. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. You can sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is here to help you grow. 
Whether you're selling t-shirts, phone cases, dog collars, or anything in between, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And you can sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Shopify helped us with our very first merch drop, and we will always remember how it was a major milestone for our brand. What we love about Shopify is that no matter how big you want to grow, Shopify gives you everything you need to take control and level up your business. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. And Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash cut, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash cut now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash cut. I was washing my hands in this high makes school. Me physically, in high school, I was in high sick. school. I was washing my hands in the bathroom. Where were you? And what? Like around what time? In high school? Yeah, in high school in, in the bathroom. Like sophomore you said year, it four times. In sophomore year, I was making fun of you. In sophomore yeah, year, I was making fun of you. I don't care. I thought you wanted the exact details. No, you sophomore just year the in the building closest to the street. Understood. Yep, and I was washing my hands. And a fucking big like mosquito ass bug boot down and down the drain plop in my hands while I'm washing them. It was like fucking yay long, <laughs> this long. yay long, <laughs> like big thin legs and just an itty bitty bug body like that big <laughs> itty bitty. Oh wait, yep. someone tell Ice Spice that itty bitty bug itty body. Bitty bug body. And I took I took a hat. photo of it. Itty bitty. I bug have it body. on my phone to this day. I'm not gonna go find it. It was probably, like, it was probably the size body. of a quarter, by no, the way. No, it was huge. Go ahead, Nick. Don't make me rebuttal, because I will go find it. <laughs> Don't make me rebuttal. Like, shut up, dude. Do you think nerd. that's like like way back when, when they were like, arguing that that was like a common stance? Like, Don't, Don't make, make me, me rebuttal. rebuttal. <laughs> like way back when. <laughs> I like it. I like, I like it. it too. Like, Don't make me rebuttal. I just imagine that would be your last. saying that. Okay, like, someone's like, just get on your horse. He goes, Don't make me rebuttal. Oh. All right, right, next up. He, 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 he. How many shark attacks were there in 2023? Are we guessing? You guys can guess. I know um, the answer. Um, 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 shark attacks. Worldwide. Like We're talking worldwide. World gotta wide. be under 100 for me to be comfortable. I feel like they announce it every time if it's local. They're like, hey, big shark attack over yeah, here, yeah. right? So I'm going um, 78. I'm going to go with 2,100. Worldwide. Okay. Worldwide. We're talking about like in Taiwan. What if it's like, or like Taiwan or Hawaii or like, or like overseas, like all these different places that could inhabit sharks, accidents in the aquarium, people that examine sharks for a living, like marine biologists kind of get messy with it. I'm going to go with like a thousand one hundred. <laughs> 83. Fuck! Oh my God. How close was I? <laughs> you were like 10 away. No, I said 78. I said, I Wait, was, that's such a I was, low I was statistic. Five away. I hate that. I was 83, five away. 83 worldwide. Wait, so you're so right, Matt. You don't really need the tips. The tips and tricks to avoid a shark attack. Correct. Yeah. Only 83 worldwide. Oh, so they're actually way friendlier than you think. Can I keep talking? They're can not. I, yeah, can I keep talking? Just a lot of less Only 15 were fatal. Nine were provoked. Oh, Ooh, they, they those nine them. people deserved it. Coming from Nick Cernillo Don't first. provoke a shark. Don't provoke a shark. If you yeah. provoke a shark... You will get attacked. And you What's therefore, the saying? Don't poke the bear. Don't you yeah. poke the bear. I just can't imagine don't someone... Don't spearfish at like, the shark. That's a good one. Don't poke the shark. You can't be upset if you are a victim of a shark attack and you provoke the shark. Yeah. yeah. He's going to defend his waters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. I just think of, like, what would you do to provoke a shark? What would you do? Like, what Well, they got to have started on a boat. In a way, they're swimming, and then they're like, oh, I'm comfortable enough in the ocean. Oh, I just thought of a video. Oh. I just thought of a video, and I know you guys have seen it. Go ahead. The guy catches the shark on... He's fishing, and he catches, like, a baby shark. And it's, like, I want to say, like, this long. About, probably, like... For the people just listening and not viewing, I want to say about... Three feet. Three feet long. <laughs> and they, um... They, this dude takes the shark and he goes to grab it and he's like, un, <laughs> uh, un like hooking. hooking it and the shark bites his pinky 
and then twists at a max I have rips his it. pinky right off and he goes oh my fucking pinky and the guy just knows it's gone like he's like my I, pinky's I have dust. Seen that. he's like oh he just took my fucking pinky off and he like walks away covering his hand like this i have seen pinky's that pinky's gone forever i have seen that shark went back in the water with his pinky stole it yeah i've seen that and the guy's like pissed and like his wife is recording there's a bunch of family on the boat and everyone just witnessed a shark t- steal this guy's pinky and then go into the water <sighs> i'd be so embarrassed yeah. With have you seen? Oh my god! Have you seen the video of the people on the boat, and then the swordfish just comes flying? Love over. swordfish. Love swordfish. It's actually what a good a cool animal. Iron. What swordfish? Eating okay. it? Yep. Oh, that's good. Swordfish is just a cool concept of an animal. Like that's a yeah. fucking swordfish. swordfish. Uh, like, dude, that's lit. This Come is like on. A comic book Come on. A swordfish. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. It is awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, next. You talk with like at least like I think you break like four accents a pop. No, I don't. I'm yeah. just saying that's awesome. And you said that's awesome. It is awesome. Anyways. Um, how many Oh my shark- god, imagine getting Oh my god, yeah, how many times a podcast <laughs> does, does Chris tell me move on and the moment my mouth opens, he brings up another foolish thought. Well, Almost no. every time. No, Matt saying that just made me think. Matt I didn't, didn't say, say anything. anything. It was I silent. Was, I was going. It took me a minute to think of it. What? Imagine getting struck by an airborne sea <laughs> No <laughs> airborne, an airborne sea creature. An airborne sea creature just takes you out. Like imagine you're on the boat with your pals. See, so, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> on the boat with your pals. Like I was about to say what? seahorse, but I meant swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seahorse. <laughs> no, it's, you're on the boat with your pals, just chilling. Swordfish in your abdomen. <laughs> it's just like it like makes you bleed. It just gets you. It's like a sword. It's in the name. I wonder that that's a good fact I want to know. <laughs> oh my god, how long did he talk if no one else said anything? I don't know. No, I'm being for real. Like, imagine what's the fact struck. you want to know? I want to know how do how many people? <laughs> oh no, I want not how many people. Just I want to know. know are swordfishes swords sharp? I'm not searching. <laughs> yes. that out. No, I need to know. Like, I want to know if it's like fatal enough to poke through a human. Could a seahorse in uh, fuck? Could a, <laughs> could a swordfish impale human skin? Are swordfish sharp? The long upper jaw and yeah. snout from a flat sharp <laughs> is like a flat double-edged sword. Oh, that's awesome! They're just flying around with weaponry on their face. It's one third of the total length of the fish as well. Oh my god! Yeah, so it's like one third of the whole entire fish. <laughs> That's correct. Great. Yeah, really you got it. You use your critical thinking skills yeah. for that. One. Oh, hold on. Wait. What tells you that? Chris? Can you Google how many people have been struck by an airborne swordfish? <laughs> Dude, there's no way there's a like Googleable stat for that. Could be. Just one story. This would be like if someone oh. was impaled by a flying swordfish, <laughs> everyone would know. <laughs> yeah. Or at least I tell everyone. <laughs> like if I was thrown on a boat and a swordfish, like, whoo! There, <laughs> oh, I there tell have everyone. Been, there have been very few reports of swordfish attacks on humans, and mm-hmm. none of them have resulted in death. That's good. Come on, I want <laughs> a little more. It says, although there are no reports of unprovoked attacks on on humans. That would be my weapon of choice in the zombie apocalypse. A, a swordfish? A swordfish. And you just, like, hold the fish and just, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Just get a sword. All right, let's hear what's next. Wow, this dude really got a sword on his fucking nose. Holy shit. That's so cool. Like, what a human made... <laughs> like, what a cool, he's like... Dab, dab. What a cool, like, like creature. Chris doing the swordfish like, thing. He said, like, what old people do and they try to dab. Like, when you get your parents <laughs> to dab and they're like... No, but it's, like, it's just such a cool creation on this planet. That's good. Let's talk more about shark attacks. Shout out whoever made a swordfish. Anyways... Um, <laughs> I'm just counting to three before I start speaking again, just in case like a thought really <laughs> yeah. hits you late. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how many shark bites occurred in the U.S. in 2023? How many attacks were there? Seven or no, eight in the U.S., 41 shark bites in the U.S. He spoiled it. You didn't let us guess. Okay, Florida. Guess how many of the 41? Oh, there? this is good. Out of 41, um, I want to say 25. 20. Oh! You're a dickhead. Wee! 
<laughs> All right, Matt, you can get this. Out of the 40, one, with 20 of them being in Florida, how many were in Hawaii? Eight. No, more. 12. Six. Fuck! Yeah. New York, also Cod, six. Right? New York! Also six. Imagine you're in the Big Apple in a fucking great okay. way. It's not like downtown. South Carolina, city. three. California, two. What about Massachusetts? Two of them were provoked and two of them were fatal. And it was in Hawaii and California where the fatal and provoked. Okay. Wait, I what about California there's none the in, Ca- in Cape Cod? No. Or like Massachusetts? I mean, I don't know. I'm reading this. Okay. Kind of pissed. I wanted to put on for the city. Are there sharks in L.A.? Let's hear it. LA is oh sorry. LA is home to great white sharks and other shark species. Shark attacks are rare and most encounters do not result in injury. Okay. If you had to save all good each, news. Okay, if you had to save each other from a shark attack, what would you do? Like if one of you were being attacked by a shark and I had to do something or the same other way around, you know? I would probably call my hall of swordfish to attack the shark. <laughs> <laughs> <Say. laughs> <laughs> we all go, yeah! And just strike the shark. Like the swordfish. Yes, oh, like the okay, wave buddy. would come up and I'd be standing on the wave. Like, oh my god, you'd get your swordfish <laughs> yes. whistle. And then my swordfish would come and attack with me. Oh my god. I feel like there's not much you can that do. That would be a cool superhero, like Swordfish Man. And I feel like there's not much you can do other than, like, a ago. other than like... um. I just grab shit and like throw it and try to make like bigger splashes somewhere else. I'm like, hey, it's over here, you know. You're gonna distract the shark on a hungry meal. I just hope that you guys got it. There's nothing I could do. I'd, I'd probably, scream. I'd go to Vaughn's, exactly get a T-bone steak, and throw it right in front of his Kid, nose. Go to Vaughn's? What? You're on the phone. <laughs> yeah, like I'm being. We're being actively attacked. Wait, hold on. Wait, can we get like a setting down so I can actually answer? You can create your own. All setting. three of us are in a boat. Okay, you had a pretty Nick, quick answer Nick, earlier. Nick falls out of the boat. Dang. Oh, awesome. oh no! Here comes a shark. About <laughs> um, he's about a minute and a half <laughs> swim <laughs> away from <laughs> biting Nick in two. Okay. No, I, I'm like actively being attacked. Is kind of like more. Okay. Well, I'm giving him like, like a it's like grabbing my leg and like about to pull me underwater and okay. eat me alive. Okay. Do what do we have on the <laughs> boat? We just, got a cooler. You can not, no, a now cooler. you can We have a cooler with like some Pepsi, some Sunny D, some Capri Suns, maybe. A gas grill. We have like today's lunch. Why the fuck would we have a gas grill? We have grill today's lunch and we, we have cold cut packs. Okay. We got like six sandwich packs. Yeah. We got three life vests. We didn't have them on though because we were getting a little like. We have fishing rods. Yeah. We have bait. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Box of worms. Some okay. bait and tackle. And flare guns. And okay. you brought a Hershey bar. Yeah. That's it. That's all you got. Well, and like the basic. Okay, boat. this is what I would do. I would um <laughs> take the bait that we have that you said <laughs> and the coal cuts and I dump them in the water while like so that the shark can smell that and be like, oh, food. Coal cuts. <laughs> coal cuts. Turkey, See, I immediately think that's gonna make him think I am the bait and the coal cuts. No, it's gonna distract. You wanna know? Okay, you wanna know what? You wanna know I what I would do? The do? Bait <laughs> in, and then I take the empty cooler and I throw it at the shark and I try to. Aim. You missed the key. <laughs> you miss. You missed the key um component okay. here. Nick said we have a flare gun. That's Take nothing. It. I'm taking it and sparking him right in the nose. It doesn't yep. do shit. It distracts and it's hot. I was hoping we had a gas grill because what I would why do... Would, <laughs> why would we have a gas grill? I would take the grill. propane tank. I'd throw it up and, and the <laughs> shark would go to catch it because he'd think it's food. Uh, no, I'd throw cold cuts first and then he'd catch that. And what then if I'd you throw, taped cold cuts to the propane? Yes, and then I'd throw the <laughs> propane tank and then I'd get a gun. Yeah, <laughs> or the flare gun. <laughs> I'd get, I'd get gun. the flare gun and I'd shoot the propane tank as it's entering the shark's mouth. And then it would, <laughs> and then it would impale the gasoline tank. Boom! <laughs> shark everywhere. I don't think that Nick would help. Nick's also I'd gone. Out of here. No, no, no. I'd Nick's for, also fucking uh, dust. I'd wait for the shark to close its mouth on the propane tank. Like as like it's perfectly aligned. Like it's a, it's a, he's, up no, this time? is the tank. This is the tank. It's like about to go in the shark's mouth. He's closing his mouth. Flare. Boom. Okay, Nick, go ahead. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's. <laughs> and then we're all dead. And then um, I jump in with a flying elbow to the shark's snaws. Like, <laughs> boom. Like okay. that. Thank you. Shark behavior and stereotypes. Shark are the. Wait, Nick. How would you save us? Right now, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Because I know you'd interrupt me when you got out tell me all about it. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I let that shark suck you down. Like, so rude. But you keep interrupting me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shark behavior and stereotypes. 
What'd you say? Awesome. Let's go talk about shark behavior and stereotypes. I thought you said shark bait and stereotypes. I was like, whoa. My God. Sharks are the oldest existing group of fish dating back to over 400 million years before the dinosaurs. Don't tell me that. Correct. Now, how many kinds of sharks do you think there are? I have an answer. I got a good Um, guess Let's think. Saber... No, saber tooth tiger. tiger. <laughs> You're insane. Um, you mean hammerhead? Great white hammerhead. Can tiger. I can I give you a suggestion? Yeah. If you're gonna count on your fingers, you're gonna have to name at least like a hundred. So yeah. let's just take a guess. No, maybe. the wait. Hold on. I was. I have a good guess. All. I'm going with the ones I know. Think of how many species um, of fish there are. Yeah, I'm thinking like great white tiger shark. I know there's like a leopard one or something, and then I want to go with um. Let's say like six different species. Of I don't those think ones. there's like, a leopard. That's, I don't like, that's, okay. like, that's like 10. And then I'd rough estimate that there's probably like 90 that I don't know. So that's 100. And then I'll go with like the smaller sharks that aren't classified as like big sharks. I'd say there's about 25 of those. I'd probably end up at around 140. 189. 500 plus known, known species of shark. Oh my God. Damn. They range from 6.7 inches, which are dwarf sharks. Oh. <laughs> Little shark to thirty nine feet. Damn. <clears throat> what, ki- what kind? What kind of shark? You guys could get this if you really put your okay, brain. Okay. Okay. What kind of shark do you think is the world's largest fish in the world? Great white. No, but you could get it. Think of the largest animal in the world. Blue shark. Blue whale. It's a whale. Wait, what's the what's the question? Ask it again. You're not asking it well. Is it not the megalodon? No. Megalodon's a myth. No, it's not. It's a rumor. <laughs> okay. It's not a rumor. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's like a. Um. It could it's have a, been. It's a theory. I think it's, it's a true. mermaid. What shark is the what largest fish in the world? What shark is the largest fish? Because I don't think a whale is classified as a fish, but like a shark is, but way bigger. Oh, Memo said it. it's the whale shark. Yes. Wait, that's a thing. Yes. Okay. No, it's not, Chris. Whatever. What? I don't buy it. The whale shark. Okay. And then, <clears throat> true or false? Sharks have a taste for human blood. Nope. False. false. It's all a rumor and a myth. Sharks are not attracted to human blood, but they will likely bite a human out of curiosity, and they have no taste preference. Your lunch, if you're lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, nom nom nom. <laughs> Dude, you're so fucking weird. Just if you see a fin, hey, if I didn't Chris, have taste Chris, preference- Chris, listen, I'm I'm done with this. So I'm gonna speak because I was no, because I have no. To say. I don't care. You can say it after. Oh. At the end of the day, if you don't have taste buds, broccoli's. Just if you see a fin no, floating gonna, above water, Nick, sh- shut up. I t- I'm gonna chime in. If I don't have a taste preference, if you give me a peanut butter jelly or a peanut butter fluff or a peanut butter just peanut butter or a jelly and jam, crust off, cut in corners, doesn't matter. I'm eating it. That's the shark. You just give him all those. He'd eat them all. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. Go Nick. ahead, Nick. Right back at you. Hey. Get in this conversation. There's no way you're a real fucking human. Beep, 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 boop. I'm real. Talk. You're obnoxious. <sighs> if you see a fin floating above water, a shark is preparing to attack. <laughs> okay, dude. That's true? Is that a true or false question or is it true? A true or false question. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Um, um No. I think it's just getting closer to the top of the water, probably for air, maybe if it wants it. But like to see what's going on. Don't need air. Don't have um, Okay, then um, maybe they are observing <laughs> for snacks, because maybe. Oh yeah, because seals are. See, no, I don't. I think, would say they hunt from low and then creep up. So I don't say if they're no, on top. I think. Not hunting. I'm gonna go with I think false. sharks circle. Final answer. I think sharks circle. We all know there are things in life you have to compromise on. Who gets to sit in the front seat, choosing where to order dinner, or staying in your budget to find a new apartment? But when it comes to your health, there is no compromise. So don't go back to that one doctor who uses your appointment to catch up and ask generic questions just because they are available right now or because they take your insurance. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can discover tens of thousands of top-tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. You can book directly through ZocDoc. You've got more options than you're probably aware of. Say no to compromising on your health and go find the right doctor for you. Doctors who will make you feel comfortable and prioritize your health. You can search by location, insurance, and availability, so there are literally no compromises.
ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. We are used to doing everything online and if we needed to easily find a doctor, this is what we'd use. Go to ZocDoc.com camera and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash camera. ZocDoc dot com slash camera. The answer is not necessarily. Swimming near the surface could mean they are curious, navigating the waters, and you hunting for prey. I did say that, though. You did say the word curious. I did. They're just like this. Job, this is buddy. the water? They're like this. All sharks are dangerous, true or false? False. false. Correct. The six-inch dwarf ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat him for lunch. Majority of shark species are not known to attack humans. That's good. True. I think that's a fun fact. Oh. Yes. Yeah, great white tiger sharks and bull sharks are most known to attack. <sighs> Humans are not a main component of shark diets. True or false? True. True, obviously. Correct. Yeah, if that means if only there was, then they'd be super hungry. Yeah. Dude, Majority of shark species are not known to attack humans in less than 100 unprovoked shark attacks a year worldwide. Oh, they're so sweet, actually. I still don't want to be around these motherfuckers. Yeah. Growing your online business can be easy with the help of Shopify. When we first launched our merch store, Shopify helped us navigate the process from beginning to end. Whether you're selling a little, a lot, or somewhere in between, Shopify will help you feel confident in the growth of your business. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. You can sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. From the launch your online shop stage to your first real life store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling t-shirts, phone cases, dog collars, or anything else, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And you can sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Shopify was there from our very first merch drop and has supported us in celebrating major milestones for our brand. One thing we love about Shopify is that it's easy to set and track your goals based on how big you want to grow your business. They give you all the tools to take control and build the business of your dreams. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way, because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash cut, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash cut. Now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash cut. At the end of the day, a fucking like poisonous wasp is more dangerous than that. What you know, animal? I'd love to know. What animal I'd love is killing to know. the most amount of humans? I'd love to actually know. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, swear to God. Can I say this? Can yeah. I say this? I'd love to know what this stat is deeming a provoked shark attack. Because like I'm trying thinking, like, to, I think trying to catch it, but I'm not even thinking catching it. Like you know, like those cages that people go in and they're like near yeah, the sharks. Yeah, yeah. Is like, that provoking them? I feel like if you're you're, you're playing sitting with your food in a here. cage around sharks and the cage like breaks open and they kill you, that could be like that. I feel like that's provoking. I think if like if I'm living my life and say, you know. A bunch of people want to observe me, and they threw a cage in my living room. I'd say if I killed them, they provoked me. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> like, like just if saying. you were a shark, you then say, like, the person in the cage. Correct. Like, like that's definitely provoking. Right? Like, hold on. <laughs> listen, listen. Like, I, know I, I agree. Crazy. I know I sounded crazy. New Year's can feel like the time where you need to totally reinvent yourself. This year, instead of trying to reinvent, try rehydrating with liquid IV. With three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks and eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, Liquid IV will help you hydrate twice as fast as water. All with one single sugar-free stick, you can feel like a hydrated new you ready to take on 2024. Liquid IV sticks are convenient and easy to use wherever for an instant hydration on the go. 
Having a pre-measured packet makes it almost effortless to stay hydrated. We love keeping liquid IV sticks in our podcast studio, travel bags, and in the car for an extra boost of hydration when we need it most. We are always on the go, and Liquid IV makes it easy to make hydration a priority. All you need to do is mix your Liquid IV packet into a glass or a bottle of water. They taste amazing and come in delicious flavors like white peach, green grape, and lemon lime. Plus, they are more fun to drink and more hydrating than regular water. For maximum hydration, simply mix your Liquid IV stick with 16 ounces of water. Every stick has 8 vitamins and nutrients essential for everyday wellness, and plus provide 3 times more electrolytes than the leading sports drink. Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code CUT at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code CUT at liquidiv.com. But like, I throw a cage in the water to look at sharks. That's that's provoking. provoking. If you threw a cage of humans in my house... I'd feel wanna, provoked. I'd feel very provoked. To do something, maybe not. Yeah, get away. Yeah, maybe just be like, hey guys, please head out. Yeah, but then they're in a cage for their safety. But it's like, yeah, it's whatever. like, what am I, an animal? Correct. Well, this is also about sharks. Yeah, but still. It's a provoking situation. Would you rather just have them come in? Or would you rather... The ocean's a lot cage? bigger, though, than the... Your house? The house. Because if I'm outside... And someone threw a cage near me. I'd just be like, whoa, I'm going to get out of here. Go the other way. Yeah, but what know. if it's the shark home and the boat goes out to the shark home? They have homes. I don't know. Go may to not the next be, one. may not be like wood this. and walls, but they have homes. Yeah. And plaster. Plaster. Plaster's their wall. Oh, like you were adding on to what I just <laughs> said. I thought yeah. you were saying, okay. Stupid. Uh, do you miss plaster fun time? I do. What to do in a shark encounter? Need to know. Hold on. I don't have a pen. Before we That's talk, right. before we talk <laughs> about it, before we talk about it, what would you do if a shark encountered? Uh, kick it right in the snouts. That's what I said. Yeah, earlier. if I was getting attacked, kick it in the nose. Yeah, like the most vulnerable you have to spot. aim for the. I'd poke it in the eyes like this. No. You- <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how I what you should Make do. Squint. Stay calm and maintain eye contact with the shark. You need to make them know I'm the boss. So what am I? Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? Like go like this and then like that? Like they're yeah, they're like this. <laughs> yeah, like so it's like maintain eye contact. You I just, just fake right to now. have two other eyes and I go like this. Imagine getting a dark type shark and you hold up like two googly <laughs> <Dark> eyes. <spider laughs> <shark>. <laughs> <laughs> you're like being attacked by a shark You have googly eyes in your Maintain hands. eye contact What if bro's swimming at me I don't even know where his head is <laughs> Yeah That's a silly one Stay <laughs> in an upright position Upright like this? Upright Chris So like you want to be Okay up and down Yeah Okay yeah, I get it I get it I get it Cause if you're like this You look like a seal A seal Yeah And, I that's, and that. that's lunch Slowly <laughs> back away and avoid sudden movements. You want to just back away. away. Back away. You don't want to like panically swim or bang water everywhere. Yeah, just I'm banging water and I'm panically swimming with no eye contact if I see a shark. So that's not good. Don't turn your back on the shark. Mm. That's, I feel so like that's, you get something to say. You have say to maintain eye contact and you, you want to know what I have to say around. about it? What? You're a bitch, Mr. Shark. <laughs> you know what? If I turn my back on you and that's when you want to attack, do it to my face. Yeah, attack. Do it to my face. You know what I mean? Like if oh now I have to maintain eye contact, but you can't turn my back on you. Like oh that's because you get scared by me. Yeah. face to face. It's Mr. the Shark. same way that the second I turn my back, you talking all that shit trying to bite me. Yeah, it's the I same. hate him. Yeah, like you know what I mean. You have to just <laughs> why do we why do we, we get here? it, dude? I'm just saying, like, no, it, I agree. Like, it's the same way cyberbullying when, like, pe- iPhones started to exist, like, that became, like, the hype, you know what I yeah. mean? Because people, like, they type, type, type their life away, but it's like eye to eyes, you wouldn't say shit to me. Exactly. The shark's a bitch. Shark's a bitch. If you need so to there's defend been nothing in that cup for I know, I'm just so thirsty. I if you need to defend yourself, strike the shark on the nose, eyes, or gills. <laughs> oh, I'm it. doing all three. I'm going to go, huh! <laughs> That's eyes and nose. nose. And then, and then the gills swim just over and then just go. Bah! Yeah. <laughs> Exit the water as quickly and calmly as possible. I feel like that's a given. You didn't uh, need to tell me that. Yeah. How to minimize the chance of a shark encounter? Mm. Swim in groups. 
Mm. Stay close to shore mm. and avoid murky waters or swimming at <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, I knew the sharks. I knew Chris would like the. They would idea like of the murky, murky waters. waters. That's yeah. where they attack. It's known. I yeah. wouldn't go swimming in murky waters because yeah. that's every book description of it. In the murky waters below, da, 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 sharks. Yeah. How you. many books are you reading? A lot about sharks. Yes. Very fascinated. Remember, I survived the book series. No. Okay. Great book series. Very informal. I read it as a kid. Informal. Yep. Kay. Next. Okay. Next topic. That's how you survive or avoid shark attacks. Next topic. Media hype. Yes. Hey. Sharks are blowing up. Do sharks have a bad reputation? Yes. yes. Classic shark media. Jaws, Shark Week on Discovery Channel, Sharknado, Shark Tales, Finding Nemo, other shark and ocean movies, obviously. Yeah. Um, that was the whole thing of topic three. So do they have a bad reputation because of media? Absolutely. I definitely 100%. think so. Because think of that scene in Finding Nemo and they're like, fish are friends, not food. And then they smell that blood and they're like, oh. That's literally what he says in the movie. He's like, oh, the smell of lunch. <laughs> like, Does he say that? <laughs> yes. Like the he, smell of no, lunch. I, didn't, I, I so. didn't quote him, but like he just gets excited. <laughs> He's hungry. Yeah. What's his name? 20 bucks. Bruce. Bruce. I beat him. You did. It's the same way, like, if I was super hungry and you got pepperoni pizza and waved it around in front of me, I'd want a bite. Yeah, I feel like the sharks in Finding Nemo were, like, trying to diet, but then it's like you put their favorite food right in front exactly. of you. Exactly. And I think, like, the sharks definitely have a bad reputation because of the media because I was just thinking, right, when we started this episode, I personally thought there was a jillion more shark attacks and whatnot. You know what I mean? And whatnot. So for me to feel that way, but then there only be like 86, they're way friendlier than you think. And if there's like 5,000 species and there's only like three aggressive attacking ones, they're so kind and nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. That's how I look at it. I want to know more about piranhas. Me too. Like are piranhas Ooh. like these vicious fish? Yeah. They have a really bad rap. What are really they? Are rap. they that bad? I'm going to assume yes. They're like razor blade teeth. And they just like, oh my <sighs> God, don't say that. That freaks me out. Piranha. So, yeah. But yeah, definitely have a bad rap. Jaws, Jaws is a great movie, though. Jaws is a really good movie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was filmed in Massachusetts in like Cape so. Cod and Some, stuff. Something like that. Did you know that, Nick? I did. Yeah. Noteworthy shark interactions. Wait, oh, hold on. Yeah. I have to ask, did you guys. Watch like Shark Week and stuff. Not a Never. fan. Don't care about it. Really? Never. I actually avoid watching Shark Week. What? I just don't get why sharks get a week. The fuck? I feel like sharks are like the most hyped about animal. I agree. It's a sea animal, of course. Um, animal. Well, I would say the shark is the king of the ocean, the same way the lion is the king of the jungle. Okay. Hot take. Hot are you take. opposed? Yeah. Really? Mm? What do you think? So whale? Nope. Shark pieces the whale. An actual damage per, like, <laughs> this is my waters, shark bodies the whale. I don't know. I fully agree. Yeah. I want to know what the piranha's doing, bro. Because you could say hypothetical. You're just saying that because the whale is bigger and you think it's stronger in your Well, head. the whale is at the top of the food chain. Yeah, because it's fucking huge and it's just eating everything in its way. It's yeah. Like this, oh. So what was the question we were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're, I'm saying that you guys can't just announce the whale the king of the ocean because... The lion is the king of the jungle, not because it's the biggest, because it just stands on business the most. Like, I would say a shark stands on more business than a whale. Just saying. Because it's also like, you have to think, like, if that's the case, then we're just going to go with, like, giraffe and elephant to be the kings of the jungle. Wrong. It's the lion. I'm lost. Oh, whatever. You. you don't have to be found. Okay. Burr. Ooh, got me. Um... Noteworthy shark interactions. Yes. Uh, Bethany Hamilton. Ooh. Oh, about. wait. I know her. Yeah. She's hold, soul on, hold on. Hold on. Hold she on. She is Soul Surfer, I Bethany think. Bethany is a professional surfer who was attacked while surfing in the North Shore, Hawaii at the age of 13. Wow. The shark bite or bit, sorry. The shark bit off her left arm below the shoulder. Oh my God. Right here. Bethany remained calm and her family and friends were near. Her dad stopped. Sorry, there's a typo. Use the leash of the surfboard to stop the bleeding. Tourniquet. Wow, tourniquet. Yeah. 
Wow. And then good Bethany shit, returned to surfing a good month thing. after the Whoa! attack. Whoa! And is a role model to men at many. Soul yes, Surfer. She is. Soul Surfer is a great movie. Is I'm, that pretty Soul Surfer? I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't say, but I think that that's like the Soul Surfer. It, it is. is. So, it is. It is. Such a cool story. And to be surfing at such a young age, too. That's such a good movie. To get movie. back I out there. I haven't seen that movie in like 10 years, but you, I know it's good. Yo, she's, yes, she's, so. gotta be pa- she's got a passion for surfing if you're getting right back out there. For real. A she's month later. And to now surf, like, at that like disadvantage of not having an arm because like that must be insane yeah, way harder swimming with way harder one arm. Yeah, yeah. swimming with one arm balance like balance you always Dude, use every single hands. day life literally craziness yeah. she's back I out just in think a of month. like people who Wait, like, she's back out in a month yeah so they fucking fix her up and she's out of the hospital in a month. i guess you only are really doing well, they got to fix it right away no yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying that's like, so crazy shout out to month. dad for being a quick thinker as well the leash of the surfboard yeah what a g what a genius, dude. Because I'm just thinking of, like... She's so awesome. I just think of, like, how many people who deal with, like, fucked up situations and then, like, can't endure anything similar for, like, sometimes, like, the rest of their life. Yeah. Like she and it was definitely hard for her. Yeah, I think she's traumatized, but she's right by a back shark, at it. lost a limb, and mm. then put herself in the same scenario a month later. And she's... I'm, I'm assuming she's, like, a Hawaii resident. That's my guess. Because she must have been around surfing her whole life. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's so Professional cool. surfer. It's like she's probably lit. like competition. I think lit. she competes in like the movie. I remember watching that movie. What is that movie, movie an actress or is it actually her? Soul Surfer? Actress, I would I say actress. Yeah, but she doesn't have an arm. Okay. Like, let's see. got an actress with the same injury? I'm assuming, Maybe. yeah. I think it's her. It could be her. I don't remember. I haven't seen the movie in so long. But I think it's one of those movies where they show the real her at the end. And it's like, oh, Also, this she was her. 13. I was afraid of everything at 13 years yeah, old. Definitely. Yeah, I was afraid of everything. I mean, to go through that trauma at thirteen is insanity. Yeah. Uh, she, she the girl that plays her has two arms. Really? Yeah. Oh well, they need the before. Oh well, uh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so stupid. Yeah, okay, yeah, that. yeah, we're just yeah. stupid. Yeah. Duh. No, <laughs> obviously, the girl that plays her is Anna. <laughs> You're Sophia right. That's Rob. fucked up, but that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But also, that's great special effects. I remember watching it as a kid. It doesn't look like they use like a green screen to like take her left arm off. You know what I mean? It could be. Yeah. I don't like, know. I don't know how they did that. That's crazy, <laughs> that's crazy tech. I always think how crazy that shit is. <laughs> like, <insane>. what? <laughs> that would be so difficult. Oh. Okay. Moving on. I kind of um, have to pee. Is it like weird if I go pee right now? Yeah, there's 10 minutes All right, left. Let's go, maybe. Let's go. It's locked 10, in. 20. Wow. What? They painted her arm blue and green and then just use like special used effects. Special it? effects. Wow. That's crazy. Also, another thing too, though, is like to get in the rhythm of like, I'm thinking like being an actress and like, oh my God. Having, yeah. Like, I couldn't, I would be still flailing this yeah. arm around even though my character's not supposed to have yeah. it. Like, no, she had it, she had it tucked. She had it tucked under a prosthetic. So the, mm. the arm that was painted was a prosthetic arm. Because they still had to have like the So they kind of shoulder. put it in like a bar. Like you cannot move this. And the bar was painted. It's like basically like green. if her arm was like this. Like locked. And then like put a shirt over Yeah, because I'd like it. instinctively and then they put, like, throw And then they put like a fake full arm. But then painted from the shoulder down on the full arm. Mm. Yeah. Because I would still like as an actor like still like accidentally flail like the arm that I'm not supposed to have. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's like so hard to act out is like actual physical disabilities. Yeah, because like what? Or sometimes she would just use her real arm and then paint just her arm a different color, like just her hand a different color and then wear like a sleeve, like a green or blue sleeve. Mm. That's crazy. Ocean Ramsey. Sick. Famous for positive shark interactions, marine biologist, and he swims with great white sharks to promote shark conservation and dis- dispel myths about them being mindless killers. Mm, I love it. That's sick. It's a great, great, great concept. Real. Um, Mick Fanning, professional surfer and three-time world champion, was struck from a shark from behind and knocked off his board during a world surf competition in South Africa. Oh my he god. He survived unharmed. Wow. Wow. Imagine That's your surfing, computer thing. Getting just hit by like an animal that comes out. Because if he was on his board, then that shark had to like jump in at Well, him. it hit the board. Hit the bottom Flung of the board. Him no, it hit him in the struck him in the back. The back of the board is what I'm guessing. The bottom. He got was hit. Was struck the back. from a shark from behind and knocked off his board. You're right. Correct. The shark went like this. Yeah. Like and hit, hit him back. off of it. Like this is the board. This is him. The shark went like that and 
Like, well, that's jump. the side. That was not the side. The back is the charger port of your phone. Yes, no shit, Nick, but he's standing on the sur- surfboard this yep, way. it was attacked oh, from, from the back? Oh, from his back. Or yes, like the, from the Nick, back. Nick, I'm getting you, dude. <laughs> you guys aren't getting it. Yeah. Come on. But that's crazy. Surfer Sutter, dude, was struck. Imagine being just unharmed, but you just get nailed by a shark. Like, boom. Just so kissing you at that point. Literally, that's insane. Jersey Shore attacks in 1916. A series of shark attacks along New Jersey's coast over 12 days resulted in four deaths and one injury. Oh Must my have been God. just one crazy shark. Like, like Jaws. These no, attacks like Jaws. are infamous for in, inciting mass fear and are believed to have inspired the original you. novel Jaws. Fuck you. I said like Jaws and you go, no. And it's literally the inspiration, you fucking moron. Nick, you want to go bake or preheat the oven at 375? So no, that's just so annoying so to me. Like I'm like, Christmas oh, cookies. literally the whole Jaws movie is based off okay. of a No, 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 because now you're taking... No, from, listen. No, no, because no, now you're taking no, 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 it out, no, 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 of, no, no, no. out of context. It says it's believed to have inspired it's parts believed. of the original movie. Believed in parts. I, I, I'm on your side, so but you need no, to no, not like, really take this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Believed in parts. I'm going to talk. Right? The... the Part uh, is it the, the full movie. real life experience and then believed, believed in parts. The real life is it based off hey, of that? Mm, zip your Believed lips. in parts. Mm. The real life experience that happened I don't was know. that there was a series of shark attacks that led the believed city. Matt and parts. Listen to me. Listen to me. The real life incident was a yep. series of shark attacks mm-hmm. that struck terror to a town. Guess what the fucking novel definition of Jaws is? Yeah, plot idiot. Go ahead. Believed. Go ahead. It's believed. No, I think that, that I think Chris, you're completely in the right. But I also do think that when you found out and you were like yelling at Matt, you were saying like the whole movie. Like, believed in parts. Believed what are we talking about? Of it. Like, yeah, it's not like, like you're geeking up for no reason. Like, Calm the, down. The, like, it's not. Yeah, you need to just settle the fuck down. If I can end credits could have been the parts. You, you don't know. You're super annoying too, though. He's just oh, I know. He's super annoying. Annoying. I was super literally annoying. saying, oh my God, like Jaws, because I was trying to be engaging. We have a podcast. He's like, no, I'm not even close. And it's like fucking like loosely inspired by you. Not idiot. loosely. Believed. Go ahead, Nick. It believed is the key word. <laughs> believed is the key word. Yeah. That's why I keep <laughs> saying it. And parts. Topic five. Not the full thing. F- topic five and final topic. Let's go. How can we save the sharks? Rehabilitation centers. Well, I'm not asking your opinion. I'm going to share some. (laughs) Um, What are some of the environmental threats to sharks? Overfishing and sharks get caught by accident. Habitat deconstruction. I hate that of any sort. Leave habitats. Correct. We all want our habitats. Correct. We all want our habitat. Leave them theirs. What if somebody, what if an animal came to your house and just burst it on fire? How would you feel if your habitat got... That's what I'm saying. I'd Fucked love up. to see the person. What a great word. I'd love to see the person habitat who like destroys an animal's habitat or like it's his job to like destroy the animal habitat. I want to see a lion go in his house and just rip his couch up. I want to see him sleep at night. I bet he can't. <laughs> 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 I couldn't sleep at night knowing I'm destroying millions of animal civilization by taking their homes. It's a, it's sad. Habitat. I'd like to see it. I'm going to use that. <laughs> that was good. Like if someone does I'd something like fucked up to me, at night. I'm just going to be like, I'd love to see them sleep at night because they fucking cannot. <laughs> I bet they can't. I, I like to. He says like this. <sighs> Thinking of all the sloths he's cut down from trees, the whole exactly. thing. Yeah. Well, let's not target one job of like someone, you know, let's not just say no, that's we can target job. It a little bit. Okay. It's Why do we job. need sharks to For keep the ecosystem to keep once again? Rhetorical question. <laughs> okay. I have <laughs> bullet points of the answer. <laughs> the kid is so but I can't take a guess. Yeah, go ahead. Take your guess. It's going to be like <laughs> about the ecosystem and like food and stuff and like the way the world goes around. We need the sharks like we need bumblebees. Go ahead. Go ahead. Matt. Do you want to take a guess? No, go ahead. Yeah, you're feeling good. Okay. Yeah, do your thing. Um, to keep the oceans and coral reefs in balance with population control. <laughs> Ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would Survival say of the fittest and genetic diversity. They prey on different species and only the fittest survive to contribute to the diversity of marine environmentalists or in marine environments. So it's like they're going to like. So they're, technically yeah. what I said. Kind of. Um, sure. Next point. Shark populations signify how healthy our oceans are. Oh, that's a good one. 
That's a good one. Like how many sharks are in this area means like the more sharks, the healthier the water. So it's like a ratio type thing. I'm assuming. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't know either. Well, You're no, I'm just saying like whatever ocean sup- like has the most healthy water is probably the one where most of the sharks are going to be. That's my guess. Like Hawaii, for example. Yeah, like I understand because that's exactly what the bullet point says. So I'm sensing that that's why you're making that point because you're just kind of copying exactly what this was. Yeah, I'm just excited about it. Like I just think it's cool that like the sharks are just like putting on like. Yeah, shark populations I signify how healthy our oceans are. I love that. It's cool. Good. Yeah. Okay, conversation efforts. How can you help? Advocate for ocean conservative policies. Mm. Purchase and consume seafood responsibly. So those are the five topics that we've gone through and have. Very nice. All I right, I got a question. Yes. What's everybody's favorite sea animal? Yours is sharks. I know that. Is it? No. Well, team shark. It's not. I understand where you're coming from, Chris. Oh, it just pisses me off. Like, I want my favorite animal for tour, and he's just, like, throwing anything on a shirt. No I want my favorite animal lost. as well. Exactly. Well, I have, like, several favorite animals. No pride. That's one of, like, my top four. Mm. Yeah, not sharing my, my number other one. Ones. Here's my number one. I will reveal mine in the future if we go on another versus tour, but not for now. Can you, all right, favorite sea animals. Um, Let's get the. If we go on another, like, versus tour thing, I don't think I'm going to pick an animal mascot. You're I like want something like crazy. No, well, no, definitely not. What did you say? The, the balloons. balloons. I, was, I thought that's what I heard. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he said the <laughs> yeah. balloons. Let the balloons was his, yeah. that's his, cool one. his big idea. I thought he said the baboons at first. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that would, that's good. I was like, why would, I don't think Nick would want monkeys <laughs> as his team mascot. I would do the coffee pots. I'm re- I just read that. I'm kidding. All right. I don't care. Can <laughs> you answer the question? Coffee pot. Says the coffee shop. Coffee hot. So I combined it. <laughs> Hot coffee <laughs> shop. <laughs> You've yet to read this three word <laughs> sign. Okay. Um, Chris? You know mine. I don't. That's why I'm asking. What is I? I'm like. Can Swordfish! <laughs> Swordfish, okay. Uh, yes. Probably my favorite. Hmm. Um, I think you should be the swordfish. I like, is an otter count as a sea creature? I love otters. I, I like them. Definitely. Otters are one of my favorites. I animals. think that's more of a river animal. Like a river lake. Yeah, I would also attend. Attend. I would also put beaver around there. River lake. Yeah. But the, yeah. that's the ocean. Um, no, uh, it's let's, a river or lake. Like, let's say favorite fish. Aquatic, no, like, aquatic, aquatic, favorite aquatic, sea. Aquatic. Like, you're going aquatic, to the aquatic, beach. Aquatic, aquatic, aquatic. I would say, yeah, swordfish is probably up there. Um, as of today. No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> as of today. Oh, I love anchors. Like, I feel like that's so cool. Like, just an anchor. Yes, just like that. So I have a lot cool. of sea. I have a lot of Nautical. sea. Things. Yeah. I love well, this. Stuff. This the these are four people. This is the only one that I got. Like that's not for someone. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. oh, the meaning. Yes. I thought it was like you were saying it was four people. I'm like, that's a shell. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um. But um. What's it called? What was I gonna say? My favorite. Yeah. I like swordfish. I like um um. What's the one I'm thinking of? The um. Fuck. Give me starfish. That's starfish. Mine. That's I mine. love starfish. That's you yours. My, yeah. You took mine right out of my. Damn. Right out of my head. Do you like anything else? You can keep going. You still are you done no, with I'm swordfish? Done with, like, I'm okay, because you said swordfish and you went like for like twenty minutes. So I just wanted. So mine starfish. Yours is swordfish, Nick. I like seahorses. I knew it was going to be seahorses. Seahorses are like the drag I wish I said that of first. aquatic animals. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're cool. Okay, sure. Um, well, like, I don't know what I, I don't. I don't. I it's okay, just let what me else believe. Be. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it. I'm what's not your, taking it. What's your favorite beach location? Beach location? That's loca- not a good Like, question. are you talking about the land or the ocean? I feel like there's two. What does that mean, Chris? <laughs> like, what's the favorite beach you've ever been to? That's when? that's the question yeah, that we wanted. Correct. Same thing. No, because what's different. your favorite beach location? I'm, like, confused. I'm, like, the sand, the Very ocean, different. the lifeguard tower. Like, I don't know. I really like Maine. Just all of Maine. Yeah, Maine is cool. Nick. Been to many beaches in Maine. I like, um, I just like sand games, like building sand castles. Yeah. I think Bocce, Cocoa Beach in Florida thing. was pretty lit. Oh Cocoa my God. Beach, so, what so a good cool. Beach. I liked, um, uh, Florida's hard to beat, dude. Hawaii was also I love Hawaii. Yeah, oh my God. Black sand. Is that it? Yes. That was a good one. You guys didn't snorkel with me and Nate in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> 
All I'm saying is you guys are going to regret that. I'm we'll going to regret it. I would have already regret it. It's been almost a year. It okay, was fucking what's, awesome. What's next, guys? What else? Other sea land questions. See, like you need to finish your sentences in your head before starting to verbalize. Or, or your questions and shit just needs to make sense. No, I understand, Chris. I really do think like, yeah, you just need to make sure it's like all together here before. It I gets hate here. to say it. What? Because you know we've been talking so about the animals. What's your favorite seafood, though? Salmon. I love salmon. Delicious. A lot of other seafood I'm either allergic to. I think. I've never ordered scallops, but mom gets them as a meal sometimes, and I'll What's take a, a scallop little. in the ocean? Like, what does a scallop look like not dead and on a plate? I don't know. That's what I'm... I need to know. But I, I like scallops. I've always had a little piece of a scallop, and it's delicious. I like salmon. Um, I've never had lobster or crab. Same. You'd like tank shrimp. Can, shrimp. Can oh! Can shrimp is my favorite food ever. Ever, I love it. <laughs> I can't believe. You oh my that. god! You like aggressively like, put away shrimp. Like you have oh, more man. shrimp than you. You have more shrimp than you do water. Hey, you're gonna start oh turning pink. man! Literally. You know that's why flamingos are pink. Fun yes. fact. Oh my god! Wait, what if I turn <laughs> pink? That's what I'm thinking. I love. You got rosy cheeks. shrimp. I don't know so much. It's yeah. my absolute favorite food ever. Like actually, top five for me. Yeah, that's good. With like pe- pepperoni pizza, shrimp. I thought you meant like <laughs> no, not together. I'm yeah. allergic to shrimp. Ironically, <laughs> shrimp scampi so yummy and good. Oh my god! Because every single time I'm not, I'm not huge on the cold serve like dip in the sauce like shrimp. Yeah. I just want to cook grill shrimp on a skewer with rice. <laughs> Woo! We're talking kebab here. Oh my god! You know exactly what restaurant I'm thinking of. I know. I'm yeah. thinking. I of think too. of. I'm allergic to shrimp, and it's a shellfish, right? So I've never had lobster or crab either. And that's why Is I mean it a that. shellfish? Does shrimp yes. have shells? We're gonna skip that. Just Well, I don't know. Do ba- well baby oh shrimp God. don't have shells. They grow into it. Yeah, baby shrimp don't have shells. I think Matt, big what are you acting do. all like, oh my god? Because I'm pretty sure you guys sound fucking stupid right now. Definitely don't. It's definitely a fish. Well, you can't type. also say we if sound you went stupid up to, if you're not confident. You're saying correct you're if you're sure. googling it. Like, yeah, like if if you're, you're pretty up, sure we sound stupid. But literally, if you went up to any person ever and you're like, "Yo, does shrimp have a shell?" No, because I'm like, um, like I, know, I just like, like now you guys are making me second guess it. But shrimp is literally like when you talk about shellfish is like number one. But shrimp, crab, and lobster. Shrimp. Crab, lobster. But also think about it. A crab is does not Squid? have a shell. Squid? Crab definitely has a shell. Squid? Crab is a shell. Oysters, scallops, <laughs> okay, and I'm snails. Ending, I'm ending this podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Crab is a shell. Shout out to sharks. And thank you for keeping us safe and not actually being mean to sharks. Or mean to us, Mr. Sharks. I love you. Talking to the sharks. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. Listen. Okay. If you're okay. from the deep blue, come I'm subscribe. Just, oh my God, I just thought, do you want to write, like, one of my favorite memes ever is yes. when they say, like, the saddest thing about sharks, and then you swipe, and it's like, they can't, and then it's like something that only humans can yeah, do. Yeah, like, they yeah. can't listen to Destroyed Lonely's new album. Yeah, like, like they yeah. can't watch the Stern Yellow Triplets YouTube videos. Yeah. If they could, do you think they'd like them? Maybe. Thank you, sharks. Have a good night, everybody. Love ya. And make sure if you ever go to the ocean, clean up your plastic. Don't be a bitch. See you later. Valid point.